In this 12th part, we're going to learn about the most fundamental concepts in Svelte Kit page types. Understanding page types is crucial for building efficient and well-structured Svelte Kit applications. In Svelte Kit, we have several different types of files that handle different aspects of our pages and layouts. Each file type serves a specific purpose and understanding when and how to use each one will make you a more effective Svelte Kit developer. Today we'll explore client pages with page.svelte, layouts with layout.svelte, server-side pages with page.server.ts, shared code with page.ts, and most importantly, when to use each type and how to organize your pages effectively. Now, let's talk about plus page.svelte file. The plus page.svelte file is the foundation of every route in Svelte Kit. This is where you define the actual UI components and client-side logic for your pages. These files run in the browser and handle all the interactive elements, user interface rendering, and client-side state management. When a user navigates to a route in your Svelte Kit application, the corresponding page.svelte file is what gets rendered in the browser. This file can contain reactive statements, event handlers, client-side API calls, and all the interactive features that make your page dynamic and engaging. The page.svelte file receives data from its corresponding load functions, either from page.ts or page.server.ts, through the data prop, making it easy to display server-fetched information while maintaining client-side interactivity. For instance, this plus page.svelte file is the root of or application. Also, each route has its own page.svelte file which runs when user accesses that route. Now, let's talk about plus layout.svelte file. The plus layout.svelte file is used to create shared layouts that wrap around your page components. Layouts are incredibly powerful because they allow you to define common UI elements like headers, footers, navigation bars, and sidebars that appear across multiple pages without having to repeat the code in every single page component. Layouts in Svelte Kit follow a hierarchical structure. You can have a root layout that applies to your entire application, and you can also have nested layouts for specific sections of your site. When a page is rendered, Svelte Kit automatically wraps it with all the applicable layouts in the correct order. The layout file receives the same data as pages through the data prop, and it also receives additional props like the current page component through the children prop. This makes layouts extremely flexible for creating consistent user experiences across your application. For instance, this the root layout file. Inside it, we can receive props. We can create header and footer. It wraps whole application unless we don't create layout file for some routes. This demonstrates how layouts wrap page content using the children render prop and can access data just like pages. Now, let's talk about plus page.server.ts file. The plus page.server.ts file is where you define server-side logic for your pages. This file runs exclusively on the server and is perfect for tasks that should never be exposed to the client, such as database queries, API calls to internal services, authentication checks, and data processing that requires server-side security. When a user requests a page, Svelte Kit first runs the load function in page.server.ts on the server, then sends the resulting data to the client along with the rendered page. This means your sensitive operations stay on the server while still providing fast, interactive user experiences. Server load functions have access to server-only APIs, environment variables, and can perform operations that would be impossible or insecure on the client side. They're also great for SEO because the data is available during server-side rendering, making your pages fully rendered when they reach the user's browser. For instance, here I have created a plus page.server.ts file. Inside it, I have a load function which accesses the cookies and database securely on server-side, without exposing any on client-side, and return only desired data back to the user. Now, let's talk about plus page.ts file. The plus page.ts file serves as a bridge between server and client, containing load functions that can run on both sides depending on the navigation context. When a user initially visits a page, the load function runs on the server for SEO and performance benefits. When they navigate to the page from within the application, it can run on the client for faster interactions. This file is perfect for data fetching that doesn't require server-only APIs, such as calling public APIs, processing URL parameters, 
or handling client-side routing logic. The code in page.ts file must be universal. It should work equally well on both server and client environments. One of the key advantages of page.ts is that it allows for seamless transitions between server-side rendering and client-side navigation, giving you the best of both worlds, fast initial page loads and smooth subsequent navigation. For instance, I have created a page.ts file. Inside it, I have a load function which runs on page load time. Currently, it is fetching the posts from the API and return the posts. This demonstrates universal loading that works on both server and client using the special fetch function provided by Svelte Kit. Now, let's talk about when to use each file type. Understanding when to use each page type is crucial for building efficient and maintainable Svelte Kit applications. Each file type serves specific purposes and choosing the right one can significantly impact your application's performance, security, and user experience. Use plus page.svelte for all your user interface components and client-side interactivity. This is where your reactive state, event handlers, and visual components live. Every route need a plus page.svelte file as it represents the actual page that users see and interact with. Choose plus page.server.ts when you need to perform operations that must remain on the server for security or performance reasons. This includes database operations, authentication checks, API calls to internal services, file system operations, and any computations that involve sensitive data. Server load functions also provide SEO benefits because they run during server-side rendering. Choose plus page.ts when you need to fetch data that can safely run on both server and client. This is ideal for calling public APIs, processing URL parameters, handling client-side routing logic, and any data fetching that doesn't require server-only APIs. This approach provides the best user experience by enabling fast client-side navigation while maintaining server-side rendering benefits. Use plus layout.svelte to create shared UI components that appear across multiple pages. This prevents code duplication and ensures consistent design across your application. Layouts are perfect for headers, footers, navigation bars, sidebars, and any UI elements that should persist across page changes. When deciding which file type to use, ask yourself these key questions. First, does the operation involve sensitive data, database access, or server-only APIs? If yes, use plus page.server.ts file. Does the data fetching involve only public APIs or client-safe operations? If yes, Consider plus page.ts for the best user experience. Do you need to share UI components across multiple pages? If yes, create or update plus layout.svelte files. Are you building interactive user interface components or handling user events? This belongs in plus page.svelte files. Consider the user experience implications of your choices. Server load functions provide better SEO and initial page load performance but require full page refreshes for navigation. Shared load functions enable smooth client-side navigation while maintaining SEO benefits. Client components provide the most interactivity but rely on data from load functions. Security should always be a primary consideration. Never put sensitive operations like authentication, database queries, or API keys in page.ts or page.svelte files, as these can be accessed by users. Always use page.server.ts for operations that must remain secure. Conclusion In this comprehensive exploration of Svelte Kit page types, we've covered the four main file types that make up the foundation of every Svelte Kit application. The page.svelte files handle your user interface and client-side interactivity, Layout.svelte files provide shared layouts across your application. Page.server.ts files manage server-side operations and security. And page.ts files enable universal data loading that works on both server and client. Understanding when to use each type is crucial for building efficient, secure, and maintainable applications. Remember to use server-side loading for sensitive operations, universal loading for public data that benefits from smooth navigation, and always organize your files in a way that reflects your application structure and makes sense to your development team.